Hey, fun fans. We're getting close to reaching 1 million views on YouTube, and to help us celebrate 254, the Cheesy Poos has provided us an awesome t-shirt to give away. All you have to do to be entered is to be a YouTube subscriber and let us know in the comments which team you're from. You can enter once in every YouTube video uploaded through the month of September, so make sure you comment below. We have seen a lot of products come out from Andy Mark recently, Danny. Um, we'd be really interested to talk to you about a few of them. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So for the first one, um, the first uh, product that we wanted to bring up were your uh, new 40A Orange Compliant and Stealth wheels um, that have replaced the 45A um, Durometer um, Maroon wheels. Could you uh, talk a little bit more about this product? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the the Compliant wheel, you know, has as, as sort of a big product family, has been one of our fastest growing, um, you know, most popular things. People really, really love them. Um, and so, you know, being able to continue to provide different opportunities, um, you know, different durometers and all, and to some different branding opportunities uh, there into the robot space is is really cool. Um, the the maroon wheel. Uh, we kind of got a lot of feedback from our, our customer base, you know, that the room reel was okay, but it wasn't as great as um, the green or the blue or the black, you know, the, the, the other uh, wheel sort of in the compliant wheel, stealth wheel uh, lineup. And so uh, we actually went back, we worked with the manufacturer and we said, hey, what are some other things that we could do here? Um, and so we actually took the the raw material that makes the 35 super soft durometer uh, green wheel, and we mixed in a little bit of some secret sauce to get a little bit stiffer, a little bit firmer, um, and create the the 40 durometer uh, orange wheel, sort of our soft medium wheel. Um, and so one of the the big uh, advantages that that gives us now is we can uh, we have uh, the the green material was a lot more durable than the maroon material. They they they're two two different processes, um, two different base materials. Um, but the green was a lot more durable, and people really really liked that. Um, and so by taking that green base material, making it a little bit softer, and and kind of moving it up a little bit, we were able to get you know a wheel that is as durable as people want it to be, is a little bit harder. So now they can kind of play with some of the back and forth of soft wheel here, medium you know hard harder wheel. Um, uh, over there, um, and and really get a lot of that you know variability. So, you know, we we've got our our sort of six different FTC um, focused you know wheels between the the stealth wheel line and the um, compliant wheel line. Um, okay. We've got more coming for um, any of our FRC viewers that are out there. We've got more coming in in sort of those patterns. But um, you know, right now our big focus is is getting the the FTC stuff, um, getting that out the door, getting that for for what you guys want. Um, yeah, so it's it's something you know that that's kind of exciting. That's super awesome. Yeah, we've had a lot awesome. of uh, we've had a lot of uh, a, a good time, a really really good time with those green wheels. They've been they they really helped us uh, at least last year, the year before. They've really helped us uh, uh, achieve those goals that we needed, especially with having wheels that can move. And so I, I think that it's going to be really great to see that same durability um, be wrapped up in a bit more of a stability um, st stability focused environment. So I think that by by combining those, we're going to really see some uh, some unique elements, um, especially this year, which seems to be very heavy on the compliant wheel usage already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that um, you know, I know some teams on the FRC side played with for the power up game, which also kind of had uh, it had a, a cube as the game piece. It you know is uh, hard sides, um, so kind of you know it's somewhat similar um, to what the Skystone is uh, for this year. Is they'd put a, a a hard wheel or harder wheel on one side and a softer wheel on the other side. So there, people were doing it with like green blue, but now maybe do it with like green orange, um, mm -hmm. and that helped to always make sure that one was gripping and turning the game piece while the other one is kind of helping to, to suck it in. Um, so a lot of different opportunities that people have. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, we just get the green ones, we put them on and no matter what we use the green ones. Um, but there is a lot of different opportunity, you know, that you could play with, um, you know, the, the different wheels. Yeah. Absolutely. So the other product that we uh, that you guys have come out with, that's something that I found super interesting when I just saw it online, was the S3 Linear Motion Kit. So, uh, Danny, could you tell us a little, little bit more about that kit? Absolutely. This is something that we've had in development for quite a while. Um, to those of you guys, you know, here, you know that, you know, if you if you look back, you know, through the memory, right, of all of the different, you know, FTC games going back several years, you know, 
people have making stuff go up and down for a long, long time. So this is, you know, something that frankly has been missing from our product lineup for quite a while. Um, and mm -hmm. so there's, you know, we're, we're really, really excited to kind of finally bring it out. It is something that's really adaptable. It's really, um, customizable, you know, with different lengths of the S3 tubing, you can make it, you know, a, a longer slide, shorter slide, all sorts of different stuff. Um, and with those, you know, really nice, um, six millimeter ball bearings on there, um, we have a really, really good load capacity and it's, it's nice and, um, you know, it, it doesn't get, you know, gummed up, you know, it, it, it does good in, in the sort of dirtier and dustier environments because they're shielded ball bearings um you know so the, the they, don't, they deal with dust you know fairly well um we've got you know one of our test platforms it was actually the the thing that was the gif in our um uh, uh, teaser uh, image on the newsletter. Um, we've had that robot driving around, you know, lifting, you know, different things up and down, you know, put a bunch of weight on there. Um, we've had that going for quite a while. And we're really, really excited with sort of the the du durability of sort of both that assembly and sort of the, the system as a whole. Um, so we're really excited about that. And one thing that I know uh, you know, Kevin and I, um, one of my coworkers, uh, put a lot of time and effort into is there's a really, really good user guide on the product page for that S3 linear motion kit um, that talks about a lot of the tips and tricks about doing some linear motion stuff um, as a whole. So it talks about our system, but also there's a lot of really good things in there for just doing all sorts of stuff um, in general. So uh, like a lot of our guides, it starts with a parts list and sort of a, some step-by-step -step assembly instructions um, for how to build this kit. Um, and then a little bit farther down in that guide, a um, little bit more, a little bit. Here we go. Um, you know, we kind of we have an example elevator, and then we have kind of a lot of uh, tips and tricks. You know, that kind of go around. You know, with that. So um, a really cool, you know, guide. Um, a lot of work went into it, and we're really proud of it. Um, so definitely something to to kind of check out. Um, yeah, as, as also an educational piece. I know yeah, I think that there are a ton of little things about stringing, especially string lifts, that can just catch people up. And more resource, resources out of that are always incredible. Yeah, one of our one of my coworkers came up with um, the way in which we sort of go through that guy and the way we talk about how to run a string through this particular thing. And, and we, we very clearly we say this is one way of doing it. This is one example. Um, but it's a really nifty strategy of routing the string through the tube and through the gaps and, and different things. And we get to play with um, different um, kind of design spaces that we have with this particular system um, to get a really, really good string routing that is really safe, really protected. It's really mm -hmm. like outside of cutting the string, it's <laughs> impossible for the string to jump off the bearing or do something else. Like it is a really, really durable system. So we're super excited about that particular little nuance of how, you know, this kit kind of came together. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that was a perfect uh, description of the S3 quit kit. So the last product we're going to talk about is the spacer tubing kit. And so uh, this kit includes three feet of raw material and a cutter to allow you to create the exact length of spacers you need. And I mean, I know this is, I, I know this is a great product uh, to allow you to easily make spacers as I have spent countless hours sanding down those spacers to fit the exact length that I need. Yeah. So, so what this is, is it's, um, uh, eight millimeter uh, pneumatic hose, um, which has a six millimeter inside diameter um, and a tubing cutter. So it is, it's nice and low cost. We're really excited about it. Um, and, you know, if teams want, if there's a lot of, you know, uh, if, if people are really excited about this, we can get it in different colors. Um, so we even have that option as well. Um, but the, the little cutter, it works super, super good. Um, and so you can just measure out, cut um, the, you know, mark your spacers. Um, and it, it, the material itself is so inexpensive. If you get it wrong, you just chuck that one, you cut a new one. Um, hopefully you get that one right. I know I've done that on a couple of my tile runners and whatever else. So it is it's really cool um again for any frc people looking out there you're going to recognize that cutter it's a very common thing um it works great on the quarter inch or six millimeter frc pneumatic tubing um but you know it it is super good for for doing this year's stuff too thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.